the murders were so bizarre they made headlines around the country. That made Houston police want to solve them all the more. But 23 years later, the murders of Mr. and Mrs. Fred Rogers remain a mystery. It was the summer of 65, an innocent time in Houston when all people seemed to wonder about was whether grass would grow in the newly opened Astrodome. But on a quiet street just west of downtown, innocence was shattered. We received a call out here that the nephew could not locate his uh, grandparents. It's been 23 years since Captain Charles Bullock received the call that hot June evening. There is nothing but an overgrown lot to remind him of what happened here. When we arrived at the location, we tried to get through the front door. The windows were shut, but the back door was open. We didn't see a thing in the house. The house was neatly clean. Although we figured it couldn't be very far because there was a fan on in the back bedroom and her teeth, her false teeth were laying on the uh, table. After 30 minutes in the house, no one could figure what happened to the elderly couple. Something wasn't right. I don't know if you ever remember going off on vacation or something, being away a few days, but if you ever open your refrigerator, there's a little musty smell there. We just opened the refrigerator up, you know, just out of curiosity. And when we opened it up, well, all we could see was just meat packed in there. You couldn't get anything else in there because it just completely full of meat. As it was getting ready to close the refrigerator, the vegetable being down at the bottom is glass. And uh, as I started to close the refrigerator, well, I seen the head of one of them. And then I knew what the rest of it was. The mutilated bodies of 81-year-old Frederick Rogers and his 79-year-old wife Edwina had been stuffed in the refrigerator. The Rogers' 43-year-old son lived at home with his parents, and although his car was parked in the driveway, he was never seen again. We do know that the boy lived with his parents, uh, and as of this minute, we have not been able to locate him, or neither do we know too much about him. Neighbors remember the son, Charles Frederick Rogers, as a very intelligent man. He was able to fly airplanes and spoke several different languages. Police consider him the number one suspect are perhaps another victim whose body has not been found. The son was declared legally dead in 1975, and soon after, the house on Driscoll Street was torn down. But the murders have not been forgotten by the community, the neighbors, or Officer Bullock. I know for several months after that, I hesitated every time I opened a refrigerator. To this day, police still don't know why the quiet couple was murdered.